All right, welcome back to our channel, everyone. My name is Sarah Hornsby, and I'm here with Melissa Mugno. We are the co-owners of the online myofunctional therapy, therapy practice called Faceology. We help patients from all around the world with their myofunctional symptoms. So anything from mouth breathing, tongue tie, tongue thrust, open mouth posture, those are all things that we help our patients with. And in the big picture, they can help um, by addressing those little things we can really help with bigger problems down the road. So we work with adults who have jaw pain. And one of the most common things that people ask us is, why do I have jaw pain? Why do I have headaches? Why do I have these TMJ issues? So let's talk about that today, Melissa. Why yeah. do people have these problems? First thing comes off is usually clenching and grinding. I'm actually even sitting here myself, right? As we're sitting here smiling, making these videos for you, I can feel myself clenching and grinding. Um, that's due to some of my myofunctional disorders. I have lots of them. <laughs> so we always talk about it, but that's a big issue that will create jaw pain. And I always like to tell patients, and I know you and I have spoken about it, jaw pain doesn't just come when the problem starts. When you're starting to really feel jaw pain, most likely you have been suffering and dealing with these things for a pretty long time. It's just finally coming to a position that um, there's a, a variable change. So maybe the maybe you're in a high stress time, the clenching and grinding is at its um, at a high position, you're changing the position of the jaw, you're starting to bite on your tongue more, you're getting more headaches. The symptoms just start to start to compound. Yeah, so with myofunctional issues, a lot of times people don't realize the root cause might be their tongue. And so a lot of the yeah. things that we can do as a myofunctional therapist for someone who has jaw pain is screen for a tongue tie. One of the number one things that I see in my patients who have headaches, clenching, grinding, TMJ issues is many of them have a tongue tie. And when you're tongue tied, guess what? You have other muscles that start to compensate to make up for that restriction of the tongue's mobility. So you get a lot of neck tension, face tension, jaw tension, and you get a lot of these muscle compensations that contribute to more tension and more pain and tight yeah. muscles. And it's really the snowball effect. So some people don't realize that the root issue they might have is that they have such a restricted tongue, they've got these muscle patterns that have compounded over the years, and that has led to some of their pain issues. Yeah, you know, you're right. That tongue situation, that tongue tie itself, most people, you know, I think are still learning or we're getting into a position that a posterior tongue tie is somebody who's compensating. And the way we recognize and we notice is that that tongue tie was underneath. It's where you don't visually see it. You're creating patterns and behaviors to overcome that little bit of tether. So tongue tie is definitely a great place to look at, but that can even lead us down another road of just um, lateral uh, jaw protrusion, where you resting your position to open up your airway, because maybe you have had some cranial deficiency or some restriction on growth. Um, this can also lead into people that other signs and symptoms of snoring and things on that line, and then the body is trying to tighten up. Um, the body always wants to find occlusion. That's what it's looking for. So if you're misaligned, your bite is off in any way. You have a bite discrepancy, an underbite, overbite, right? Your teeth are lined up. You're only chewing on one side, not the other. These are all things that are going to wear and tear one side of your joint. Remember, it's a whole condyle. It works like everything else, like your elbow um, or your hip, right? So any movement that's off on that is going to create some type of ligament movement, inflammation, or worst case scenario, you end up with bone on bone. And that means then you start changing the shape of that. That's really going to have long, long lasting effects. And structurally, you might end up needing some appliances and things, but realistically, you do need to start with the muscles and the behaviors that kind of got you there or that you've created to protect yourself. Yeah, I really think that any person who has that, that cluster of symptoms, jaw pain, clenching, grinding, headaches, mm -hmm. facial pain, people describe it as like occipital pain or mm -hmm. pain in their temples, um, even migraines. I think anyone who has that sort of cranial facial pain uh, needs to have an evaluation with a myofunctional therapist, just at the very minimum to eliminate some of these muscle function problems that are very, very likely to be contributing to their issues. So, um, you know, I love how you added the part about the sleep issues. A lot of people don't realize if you have 
jaw pain and, and facial pain and things like that, it's highly correlated with sleep and breathing issues. And both of these things are very related to having myofunctional symptoms as a root cause. So we really hope this video is informational, educational. Please don't forget to reach out to us if you have help, if you wanna work with a therapist, we're here to support you. Um, anything else you wanna add, Melissa? Just remember that t the pain in your jaw is probably a sign of some other things going on and it just didn't come out of nowhere. So let one of us who have been trained at least support you and guide you. Um, you know, having a consultation, a lot of people think that means, you know, I only need therapy because of the tongue tie or because of this. But, you know, most of our therapists, myself and Sarah, we're really highly trained and we're able to support you and help you and navigate you through all different aspects of what you may need. Um, starting with your behaviors and your muscles is really a great place. We were talking earlier about kind of collecting that data so that we can support you on your journeys. Awesome. Thank you, Melissa. And thank you everyone who's watching this video. Please leave comments below, share this video if you think it would help someone else. And we will see you next time as we keep making more videos answering our patient questions. Bye. Bye. Bye.